Hello, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com, here with random reviews from the overflow room. As our room overfloweth, and as we work our way backwards through the alphabet, we have hit Rameau, the great French theoretician and opera composer and master of the Baroque. I mean, really a great composer, master of everything, actually, orchestration, harmony, counterpoint. I mean, the guy was amazing. And he wrote tons and tons of music, most of it late in his life, which is really what's fascinating. You know, he didn't do his first opera until he was 50. And after that, they just came pouring out. And, oh, yeah, well, we have some porridge here, for sure. Let's see what we have, shall we? This is going to be a multi-video thing, but not too many. One, two, maybe three or four, I think. Let's let's just see how far we get. First, oh, oh yes, the Dardanus. Dardanus is gorgeous. Well, they're all gorgeous. You know, Rameau wrote opera ballets. In other words, they were operas with lots of dance elements, um, and the dances were often done by members of the actual French court, sometimes the singing too, you know. These, these were, well, you know, operas back then were audience participation events, particularly when they were performed privately for, you know, Louis the whatever, pick a number. And so, you know, he might get up and decide he wanted to join in the frolic. And of course, who was the composer to, to you know, gainsay that? So there you go. Anyway, um, Dardanus, this is a wonderful performance with Les Musiciens du Louvre under Grenoble, by the way. It's the Louvre in Grenoble, wherever, you know. Okay. Uh, under Mark Minkowski. And let's see, how many discs is this little sucker? It's only two discs, you know. Uh, with John Mark Ainsley, Veronique Jean, Laurent something or other, oh, Nuri, pardon me, um, and Mireille de Lunch, and all these wonderful French singers. You know, the period instrument movement has done wonderful things for Rameau, actually, because before that, there were very few recordings of complete operas, and the, what existed was often very heavily edited. And we may get to some of those. I think I may have some of those in here. Anyway, uh, still, it was more than enough to tell us how wonderful the music was. I mean, it's just gorgeous. And Dardanus is one of his great tragédies lyriques. They're all based on Greek mythological subjects. You can look them up. <laughs> you know, they have a prologue. The prologue usually tells us how wonderful the reigning monarch is. And then after the prologue, <clears throat> you have a, a tragedy. And Rambo's operas, remember, do not have recitative and aria type things. They're actually continuous music all the way through, um, sung with a very supple vocal line, which evolves into more aria-like organisms along the way. So it's a totally different kind of opera. And for those of you who, you know, don't like normal opera seria, where you've got, you know, endless da capo arias with acres of secco recitati between them, um, you may well enjoy this more. It was a totally French and, and specialized kind of format. So after M.O., we have, oh, Zoroastra. This, I think, was his... his um, well, one of his last ones, or in the, its last revision was one of his last ones. It was from 1756, and Rameau died in 1764. So we're getting to the end here. We really are. Um, this is William Christie at Les Arts Florissant. I mean, they all did such beautiful, beautiful work. Um, this is absolutely gorgeous. It's three discs. And you've got Mark Padmore and Nathan Berg and, and, and something else that, oh, good Lord, some of these names... Gail, 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 uh, Meshali or Mechali or Meshali, I think it would be, and Anna Maria Panzarella, thank you, I can do that, and a few others like that, and oh, and Acts, CD3 has Act 5, and 38 minutes of Supplement, because like I said, this was revised, it was revised and diddled numerous times in, in Rameau's lifetime, but oh, the music is just wonderful. And then we have, oh, here's one that we don't know terribly well. This is also Christie and Les Arts Florissant with the Capella Colonensis of the WDR. I mean, this is a, actually a West German radio production. And it's La, La Guirlande Ballet in one act. Now, a ballet in those days was like the opera ballet. The opera ballet was singing with dancing. Well, a ballet was dancing with singing. It was just a question of where the balance was, you know, what sort of predominated. And so we have 
Um, Sophie Daneman and Paul Agnew and Francois Batola as the singists in this thing. And then there's also Zephyr, another ballet in one act. Now you know who Zephyr is. Zephyr was the god of god of wind. So it's got winds blowing around. And so we've got a bunch of singers in this one too. I mean, you know, it's okay. We don't have to go through who it all is. Um, and it's lovely. It's just wonderful. I mean, the dances are so physically danceable and tuneful and wonderfully scored. Now, here's a, here's a terrific disc that Minkowski put together. One of you already mentioned this in the comments when we were doing another Rameau video. Une symphonie imaginaire. This is, it's not a symphony. I mean, it's not, it's an imaginary symphony. It's not, a, it's not a symphony at all. What it is, is a collection of Rameau orchestral pieces and dances taken from all of his various productions and put into a single coherent program. How long is this single coherent program? It's 66 or 56, 56 minutes and 25 seconds long, which is a good chunk. It's selecting from Rameau's fascinating orchestral and ballet music. Mark Minkowski creates an imaginary symphony with irresistible dance rhythms and genius harmonies and innovative orchestration. Well, that's true. It's a wonderful program, actually. People should like take it live and do it in regular instruments. It wouldn't make any difference. So it's music from Zais, Castor and Pollux, Le Fête des Bays, uh, Dardanus, Le Temple de la Gloire, Le Boreade, and lots, lots of other things. All of it wonderful. It's a great way to get into Rameau, um, as we've mentioned before. So that's lovely. And let's see, last but not, these, for, la, not la, least, mm, for this clump, um, Le Boreade with Jean Elliott Gardner, the Monteverdi Choir, the English Baroque soloists, with Jennifer Smith, Anne-Marie Rod, Edviga Bordy, Martin March, Philip Langridge, John Aller. This is a little earlier and some of these other productions we've been talking about. This was recorded in 1990, which is the dawn of time as far as Rameau is concerned. But it's another lovely performance and uh, it's two hours and 42 minutes of fun and frolic. It's another tragedy lyrique, by the way. Most of these things were tragedies. He only wrote a couple comedies. Remember one, Platé. Oh, Platé, it's coming up in our next video. So stay tuned. Now you have a reason to tune in to the next one. Keep on listening, friends. Thanks so much for joining me. Take care.